I made this apron about 10 years ago and I'm using it pretty much every day, at least part of the day during summer because I'm in my garden quite a lot. It's very long, uh, so <laughs> it covers all of my clothes and picks up all of the dirt, which I love. So whenever I go out, I just pull it on uh, and my clothes are clean when I get back in. It also has big pockets to carry all the tools that I want, all the small things. So I know that I have everything I need when I'm out there. It's also actually really practical because you can use it just to carry a lot of stuff in, like when I'm weeding or cleaning out stuff and I just have, you know, a huge pile of uh, things that needs to be thrown away and just carry it like this. So I got a lot of questions about what pattern I use, but I didn't use a pattern because I designed it myself. So I put together this tutorial. It's really sloppy. I have no idea what I'm doing making videos. This is not my thing. So sorry about that, but hopefully you'll see the process well enough. So to make this tutorial, I made another apron. And as you can see, it's um, it looks a bit wonky because it's made for a friend who is not the same size as me. So it doesn't look good on my dress form but anyway i'll uh, see if this tutorial helps i'll gu guide you through how i made this apron these are the pieces we'll be using we have the skirt and we have the waistband in uh, two layers we have the front piece and the shoulder straps we also have four pockets. We have two smaller ones and then two larger ones that sit on top of the smaller ones. You'll find measurements in the link in the description below. You'll want to use a woven durable fabric for this project as it will have to withstand some rough use. I personally used a cotton tool for this one, but any woven natural fiber of sturdier quality should be fine. We'll start with hemming the upper edges of your pockets and the front piece. Simply double fold the edge and pin into place. We will then do the same for the side edge and the bottom edge of your skirt. So stitch these as well as the top of your pocket and your front piece. After you've done this, uh, just put them to the side for now. I've also run a gathering stitch at the bottom edge of my front piece. Uh, and you can see I have the, the top edge stitched down. You'll now take your shoulder straps and we're going to pin these into place in two layers with the front piece sandwiched between them. Make sure you take the straight edge of the uh, shoulder straps if you have opted for having a slightly angled bottom. So we'll pin these into place and we will continue pinning all the way along the whole length of the shoulder straps. When you've done this, you're going to simply sew these together and when you're done, we'll turn the shoulder straps out like so and then we'll press them with an iron. We're doing this to get a nice crisp seam and then we'll top stitch that pressed seam. After this, and sorry about the video being dark, but uh, you'll take the outer edge of the shoulder straps and you'll fold, fold the seam allowance in on both sides towards the center so that you get a nice outer edge as well. So fold these in and pin it into place and then you'll top stitch that edge as well.
Now, you put this part of the apron away and you're going to repeat the same on the skirt and the waistband. That is, you're going to sandwich the upper edge of the skirt in between the two waistbands and pin them into place. You want to make sure that all three pieces are centered properly and make sure to pin the waistband all the way to the edge. And when you come to the edge, also pin that into place. Uh, and then you're going to run a long stitch along the whole length of the waistband. So the outer edge and then the entire length, including the skirt. Stitch these into place and then repeat what you did with the shoulder straps. So when you've done stitching it, you'll turn the waistband out, press the seam and top stitch it to get a neat finish. You should now have two finished pieces, the front piece and the skirt piece. And we're going to attach the front piece to the skirt, uh, to the waistband, but we're only going to pin it into one of the layers of the waistband, the outer layer, first. Like so. But before we do that, you need to gather the bottom of your front piece slightly. So pull at your gathering stitch and try to get the wrinkles, the gathering even. And keep doing this until you have a front that feels uh, right. Depending on your own measurements, you want it to sit nicely against your bust. So just follow the shape of your own body for this. When you've done that, we're going to pin it to, like I said, one layer of the waistband, only the outer layer, the front of the waistband. You'll pin the whole length of the front piece, including the shoulder straps, into place. And once you've done that, you're going to run a stitch. Your apron should now look like this. So now we turn it to the wrong side and we're going to attach the rest of the waistband, the loose inner segment. And you'll simply fold the seam allowance in and pin it into place against your front piece. When you've pinned it along the whole edge of the front piece, you'll continue folding the waistband in on itself. So both halves of the waistband gets the seam allowance tucked in towards the center and pinned down, like you did with the outer edges of the shoulder straps. So just continue all the way to the edge. Fold it in, pin it, and then once you are done pinning all of this, you're going to run a top stitch along the whole length of this, from one end of the waistband to the other end, securing the front piece in place as well. And once you have top stitched this, you're going to put the whole apron away and we will move on to the pockets. So you take your pockets and you double fold all the raw edges in. And I suggest that you base these in place uh, because you'll get a neater finish if you do. And I'm basting it by using a contrasting colored thread that I'm simply doing large running stitches with, leaving it rather loose so they'll be easy to pull once I'm finished. Mm -hmm. 
So do this for all four of your pockets and after that we'll attach the pockets to the apron. This is what the running stitch looks like uh, or the basting stitch and uh, this is the inside of the pocket then. So put your apron on and then place the pocket where you want it, wherever is comfortable for you to reach into. You'll only pin the two small ones first because you need to stitch them in place before adding the larger one. Make sure you fit them so that it'll be comfortable to reach into your larger ones as well. So adjust for that when you pin your smaller pockets into place. Once you've pinned your smaller pockets, you're going to top stitch them into place. And after that, we'll do the same with the larger ones and they will sit slightly overlapping the lower, the smaller ones, uh, but slightly lower than those are. So I'll pin these into place as well. When I'm stitching this, these into place, I run one stitch along the very, very edge of the pocket and then I run another stitch maybe half a centimeter or one centimeter in towards the, the center of the pocket. And you can see these this sometimes on, on jeans and such that you have double seams. So I pinned the larger pockets into place and I'm going to stitch. And as you can see, it's slightly lower than the smaller pocket. Once they're all top stitched into place, I'll remove the basting stitch that I did. Just pull at the thread to get it out. And now you're pretty much finished. And the only step left is to pin your shoulder straps into place, wherever feels more comfortable for you. So put your apron on, on your dress form or on yourself if you have some help and then cross your shoulder straps in the back and you want to pin them slightly wide to make sure they don't fall off when you're wearing the apron. It will sit more securely into place. So pin them into place, trim the excess of the straps and then stitch them there. And then you are finished. So this is what my old one looks like. It's old and worn and dirty uh, but you can see it doesn't cover all of my back and it's only tied in the waist so it's easy to quickly get it on and off whenever I go out and inside again. I hope this tutorial has been of use to you and if you do make your own apron I'd love to see it. I'm also available for any kinds of questions you might have here on YouTube uh, or you can find me on Instagram at RegnMia. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. Go out, be glorious and dirty and do some gardening. <laughs>